jam. Toon jam. Hello and welcome to Toon Jam. I am Matt. And I'm Jamie. And today um, we are taking a recommendation. Mm. Another recommendation. Um, oh, I should say uh, before we dig into this is we're now in the run to 300. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. You know, you've heard it all. You've been to the jammies again. Yeah. And now you're ready for 300. What a, what a time. What, what, what a time. The, the, the second, second century of Toon Jam. Yeah. On, on the way to the... This is crazy. So we're going to try and um, mix things up a little bit in the, in, in the episodes to come. Um, don't expect it today. This is a classic. <laughs> don't get your hopes up. <laughs> don't get your hopes right up now. just yet. Um, but we are going to. So expect some uh, some new new trial and error things. Uh, let us know what you think. Um, but yes, back to it. So uh, another recommendation from um, at Epic Teacher sixty six over on Twitter or Ovens, as his uh, display name is. Uh, and that is for moral oral or as the uh, americans would say moral oral moral oral so um yeah just to uh, sort of cover that there um so yeah let me tell you a bit about um moral oral it's an american adult stop motion animated comedy drama uh, television series which is uh that's a lot of uh, genres there. Yeah. To do its name. <laughs> uh, it's a series uh, which originally aired on Adult Swim from December 13th, 2005 to December 18th, 2008. The series has been described as uh, Davy and Goliath meets South Park. However, Dino uh, Stamatopoulos, I think that's how you pronounce it, it's the show's creator, is wary of the same comparison uh, of the comparison with Davy and Goliath telling the New York Times that Moral Oral grew out of a concept for a send up of a Leave It to Beaver style 1950s sitcom that would star Iggy Pop. Um, which is interesting. Yeah. It's the second time Iggy Pop's come up as well in the last yeah. uh, the, few. The, the century of Iggy Pop now. Every episode yeah. he's, he's popping in. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned him over on Patreon for those that uh, are not on Patreon. Uh, so, yeah, he's coming up left, right and centre. Um, the series is a satire of the archetypes of middle American suburban life, modern day wasp culture, which means um, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. Um, just a heads up for anyone that didn't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't alcoholism. Know what that meant until no, much. I didn't either, and I've heard it so many times, and just you know, yeah, 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 yeah I know yeah. what I mean. So I thought, there you go. That's my gift to you all today. To <laughs> actually, what that means uh, alcoholism and religious fundamentalism. As the show progresses, it begins to emotionally unravel the duplicity of fundamentalism and the consequences that come with it. Uh, at the 2008 San Diego Comic Con, uh, Stama Stamatopoulos, 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 I'm just going to go with that, uh, yeah. announced that the show would not be renewed for a fourth season. The final season was aired uh, inters interspersed with repeats from the first two seasons, as many of the the episodes took place in a parallel with the events of past episodes. Oh. The event, which was called 44 Nights of Oral, was hosted by Stamatopoulos and others and started on October the 6th, 2008, running through December 18th, when the series finale premiered. A special entitled Before Oral later aired on November 19th, 2012. So this show is out in its entirety. There are three seasons, one special, uh, 43 episodes, not including that special. So, yeah, it's 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 not a it's not a super new one. No, but, you know, it's not necessarily a super old one. Yeah, this is late noughties. Yeah. So, it, um, it, yeah, this is like kind of the prime adult swim space, wasn't it? Really? Like, so yeah, like, yeah. 
they kind of started in the just just at the turn of the, the millennium really and then th this is when they started developing like wait, like different shows and stuff and obviously this is one that seems to have gone down pretty well as well so yeah so i mean we we've covered quite a lot of adult swim we did a sort of an adult swim series didn't we mm. a little um, run of the shows yeah so if you wanted to listen to our old adult swim episodes you can find them over on our youtube uh where you'll find us at uh, Toon Jam Pod. Um, but yeah, we did all sorts on there. So this would be interesting to go back to it. We haven't been back in a while, I don't think, have we? No. No, I'm trying to think what the last show was. I might have had one. Probably not that long ago, no. really, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. say a while for, for the fun of it. Um, ha yeah. had you, have you watched this before? No, I haven't actually. Like, never, never a full episode. Like, I've seen clips of it and stuff, and like, yeah. I was always like browsing the Adult Swim site, like back back in the day. Well, it wasn't really back in the day, but um, you know, it, because they used to host a lot of their stuff. You could just watch them on their website. I think they still do that, to be honest. Like, so which is quite good. Um, yeah. And so, like, I'd always kind of bumped into it, but never actually sat down and watched it. And I know somebody who really likes it as well, but they. I've I've never never witnessed it myself before, so this is uh, it's good to finally get around to. On the radar. Yeah, yeah. What about I, you? I, I, I've never seen it. I'd never heard of it, to be honest. Um, oh really? Not on the radar. Oh. Um, <laughs> but you know, you know me. Um, I, I tend to be out of it when it comes to adult cartoons and stuff. Mm. Um, not my specialty but you know it's it's different from the usual spiel and adult swim is usually a good place to go even if it does have some of the uh well it tends to be the archetypes doesn't it like yeah. you start an adult swim and then everyone else copies them mm. so can't blame them for that that's it um but oh, but yes. what, what are people saying online what's the uh What's the consensus? So we've got um, we've got an IMDb score, of course, yeah. and we haven't got a Rotten Tomatoes score for this. Um, uh, there are three critics ratings, which are all um, they are all fresh. Right. So I'm just going to count that as 100. percent Yeah, that sounds all right. I think that's how they that do it right. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's done. I think if you get if you get three that say fresh, then it just gets 100 percent anyway. So. Yeah. So yeah. never mind that. So we've got an uh, an IMDb one. There's 5.9 thousand ratings. Oh wow. So it's a good man. Yeah. Um. So what's your guess? Uh, I'm gonna go. Um. 6.8 on this one. 6.8. Mm. Uh, you are a bit further off this week. Oh. It's actually 7. Huh? Point 0.9. Really? Yeah. Wow, so, that's, that's a lot higher than I would have thought. Yeah. Well, apparently, uh, it's interesting. Apparently, the show, as it goes on throughout its series, becomes, um, it does progress quite a lot. Mm. And then apparently, like they start having ongoing story arcs, and um, they they change sort of the format almost from right. like individual episodes to like they have recurring themes and things like that. So I think it must get a bit more. Uh, it evolves. Yeah. So that could be a, a sort of a, a point as to why it's so so popular on IMDb. Yeah, I, I thought that I thought it would it would have like you know. A, a fair amount of like review bombs from the, the other side do you know what I mean because it's kind yeah, of like, yeah. it's very like charged <clears throat> with yeah. religion obviously so and you know those guys are pretty adamant about getting online and telling people you know that, you know this way or the other so I thought I thought there'd at least be a a good percent a good two point knockdown of just being like don't do this I hate this show yeah you know whatever so fair play for it to be that high still yeah yeah that's good going yeah yeah maybe it's due to it like when it was released yeah maybe yeah sort of before the the review bomb era yeah before cancel culture um, yeah <laughs> you know all these you know where you could just make something yeah 
and there were no consequences. <laughs> yeah, no longer is that the case. No, I know. We're, we're there you go. soon. We're at Toon Jam's cancelled. Yeah, that's it. We're, we're that. moments off. <laughs> if we get to 300 without yeah. getting cancelled, and not even for doing anything, probably just for mentioning someone's tweet. Yeah. Someone's going to dig up like episode three where we said something about like a DuckTales character that's like, yeah. you know, <laughs> don't know, some, something happened with them. And then, yeah. you know, now we're, you know, morally, morally inept and uh, some, well, they've just cancelled the whole show. They'll pull us from YouTube, they'll pull us from all the streaming services. This might be the last show you ever hear, guys. So, um, yeah, yeah, hope it's a good one. <laughs> Well, if it is, look out for David the Gnome Jam coming yes, soon. the secret code. <laughs> <laughs> the gnome's okay. Um, so let's, speaking of Twitter mm. and cancel culture, the two yeah. go hand in hand, really. Um, yes, tell us, look, what is Twitter saying about moral oral? Yeah, well, obviously it's a few years from from when the show was on and stuff, but there's still a lot of seems to be a lot of fans about. Um, right, right on topic, actually, we've got uh, Emmett is fine, who says, um, "I just watched the entire Moral Oral series and I am actually crying." How you're doing? <laughs> so, so emotional. Yeah, so it must it must take some turns um, as as it progresses. So. Yeah, I mean you can't imagine that from episode one. No, honest. no, no, it's a very different tone, isn't it? <laughs> so it must go, yeah, it must go to some interesting places. Yeah, so that's uh, that's yeah, that's uh, it's caught me off guard that one. I thought, oh, <laughs> oh wow, something happens, something really happens. Um, we've got Dapper Blues who says, "Moral Oral has got to be one of my top favorite shows ever." Um, and yeah, so that's that's quite a review. He also had a picture of somebody with prayer hands. And I don't know whether that was a reference to, you know, the the church going side of Moral Oral or, yeah, yeah. or the meme of the guy that has favourite genders. So I, I can't, I didn't know which one it was, maybe both. So um, <laughs> we don't, don't know. <laughs> yeah, good review. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like that that was a bit more... Um, general like one of yeah yeah no. it's a good like, usually people fans. go all in don't they they're like yeah. this is the best thing ever on earth yeah this is a bit more realistic i like that yeah it's like gotta be one of the best shows i watched this morning um yeah and that's the way to be because you just yeah. don't know what's around the corner you really don't no no um and you know no one can fault you on it really <laughs> no like look this guy watched one show this morning. <laughs> it's Moral Oral, so who can argue with that? Fair play. <laughs> yeah, well played. Um, we've got Bad P V Tita. Um, yeah, Bad P V Tita, who says, um, <laughs> "Can we can we flood Adult Swim with Moral Oral content till they revive the show? I need more of this heart wrecking story." <laughs> It must really take a turn. I know, yeah. What what happened? <laughs> like it's it, yeah. I can't. I can't even imagine where it goes because it's so far away from that from what we watch. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know where that's coming from, but I like that method. Like, just can we just flood them? Yeah, I love heart wrecking as well. Not not like yeah. heart. It just wrecks you. <laughs> Like their heart has been wrecked, so yeah. they want more. Yeah, wow. Yeah, what a what a show. What a show that we, yeah. we, we don't know. Um, we've got uh, uh, BLKN Loving It. I think that's Black and Loving It. Yeah, now I'll read it uh, back yeah. to myself. <laughs> <laughs> For a second, I thought, it was, I thought it was like Burger King or something, but no, it's uh, Black and Loving It. Um, <laughs> <laughs> B BK and loving it also could be both <laughs> could be both um, uh, who says the feminine urge to psychoanalyze and compare every aspect of Bojack Horseman to Mara Laurel um, which uh, I thought 
Oh, that's that's very interesting. I don't know if, they, if they, is there a reason to cross those two over? Like, is there a? Uh, yeah. I, again, maybe this is something later seen. I, I feel like we've watched a different show to a lot of these yeah. comments, so yeah, it must it must change quite a bit. Mm. Is there is there people from the show on Bojack Horseman? Maybe I don't know. Like. I mean, from from what we watched, they easily could have been like the, the yeah, gags yeah. and stuff. Could easily follow, like could be the same writers and stuff. Like, yeah. But from from what uh, you know, uh, bad PPG Tita watched. I don't know. Don't know what, what everybody else is watching. Um, it's like picking up clues, isn't it, to a yeah. to a mystery. It's always it is always intriguing when we get this where it's like we watched like the, you know the first one but then there's all this it's like a different show entirely later on you're like oh I wonder how that actually occurs um, yeah got us got us intrigued uh, and then yeah. finally we've got we just, uh, yeah sorry. we just watched the first episode obviously we don't have time to watch the entirety of every series we cover <laughs> imagine if we did that would be <laughs> but you know some of them. Are worth going back to mm. yeah and some of them we do go back to obviously as as mentioned yeah. in the uh, in the jammies before some of them yeah, yeah. we went back and we're like yeah i finished that off because yeah i really enjoyed it so i wasn't all talk i did it there you go there you go <laughs> lived up to the lived up to the height <laughs> um finally we've got bev is guilty who says if i had elon money i wouldn't buy twitter I would simply revive Moral Oral for the first final two seasons. <laughs> I like that, you know, billions and billions of dollars mm. and all you want is just two seasons. Yeah, I know. It's not a big ask, I don't think. No, yeah, good on you. Mm. I think that'd you know. be, I think that'd objectively probably do us more good than <laughs> just buying Twitter outright. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's a good good shout. Good shout. Get get yeah. Bev some some cash so they can buy buy, <laughs> buy them. <some> cheese them. <laughs> yeah, give them some Elon money. Yeah. Let's get this done. Sad. Yeah. What is that? Is that all of the? Uh, that that's it from Twitter tweets? so far. Yeah, but there okay. there is as always lots of lots of fan art on there. Um, so you know if you're a fan of the show and you want to see other people's renderings of the characters and stuff then uh, you know where to head there we go okay well let's uh, let's dig in um so like i said we've never seen this before um I, I didn't really know what to expect when it began um because i didn't i'd I, this was one of them shows where because i've not heard of it mm. i like to just i'm just going to watch it i'm going to not look, look at anything beforehand just watch it Right. And then do the research afterwards, um, just to get a completely fresh take. Um, so I didn't know it was Adult Swim or anything. Right. So I'd say for the first minute, no, around the first minute, basically until the first proper gag came into it, mm. I wasn't sure if it was a serious, um, <laughs> let's say, WASP program. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I was like. Uh, is it, have we been recommended just a pure Christian program here? Yeah, it's like Veggie Tales, just yeah, yeah. Because because they there are. I mean, I know they sort of talked about um, what it, what it was based on and stuff, but mm. there's definitely loads of. I remember there being a nativity film as a kid, right? That looks loads like this. Yeah. Don't know if you ever saw that. I'm sure it came out at the cinema when we were young. And I think yeah, I went on a school about, trip yeah. to watch it. And I just remember being like, oh, yes, we get to go to the cinema. And I'm like, oh, it's the nativity. <laughs> the disappointment. <laughs> and he was like, oh. Ah, uh, good. I yeah, all be the films. All the films film. we could have seen. I know. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it's not even like a, a story that, you, I mean, everyone has performed it in reception yeah so you all know it through and through yeah we've all been in nativity yeah you know yeah. we've all been a spaceman shepherd or mm. what they have now <laughs> is that what they have yeah, they, they go out of, they go out of their way don't they to make the nativity like crazy interesting right and 
you know, I, I guess it's blasphemy, really. Yeah, but, it is really. Yeah, it, you know, you would you wouldn't see any of that in uh, in the wasp states. You know, <laughs> no, no can't way. Have, can't have Buzz Lightyear as a shepherd. That just doesn't. No. Doesn't track. <laughs> well yeah so I, I didn't know what to expect and then the first guy sort of came in um and i was like ah right that's a good job they've done a good job of this straight away mm. i was like they, they fooled me yeah for the first minute or so um but i think what they did really well and this is kind of the main take i got from it um was that they that it is a send-up of sort of the culture and not the religion mm. Like there's nothing that really makes fun of Christianity, yeah, as as a, as a religion or a belief. It just makes fun of, you know, those extreme American Christians that you see sort of, you know, especially as you know, a couple of British guys. You see it on the TV and stuff. Yeah, often. yeah. And and this makes fun of it very well. Yeah, I think it's it's smartly done, isn't it? Like the way that yeah. they. They sort of they they really are in a way tackling it head on, <laughs> but but not actually sort of explicitly saying, uh, oh yeah, it's the religion, you know, it's it is just the the way the people are, like the sort of the, I guess like the mindset of of those people that that take that in all the time, you know, and yeah, um, and the way that um, it sort of indoctrinates people and the messages that it's constantly like laying out as as unclear as some of them may be, <laughs> and then. <laughs> And therefore, like how misinterpreted those things can get, which is essentially like what what we see throughout this episode is is that you know someone's trying to be a, a, a good Christian boy for, from what they've heard and just don't really understand exactly what that um, you know what the message was and what they were supposed to do with it. So um, yeah, I think well, that's, yeah, I, I suppose it kind of and like I mean this is episode one, ten minutes, and mm. it does pose that question as well, like um kind of well not necessarily pose a question but pointing out the some of the sort of um i'm trying to think of the word and it's escaped me uh i don't not necessarily hypocrisies but mm. you know sort of the points that go against each other yeah the contradictions um, of it yeah contradictions thank you yeah that is exactly what i was thinking um <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah it, it kind of there's because because the religions are, I mean, they're thousands of years old. Mm. So how could they not be? And they've been translated and yeah. translated and and even, you know, going to church and then you've got the vicar or reverend or whatever, mm. you know, giving their, their version of it as well. And it does kind of, it's going to cause contradictions, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, as, as a young boy, he thinks he's doing the right thing mm. and it's that sureness that, that that you know from that culture as well don't you like yeah they've kind of half got a grasp on something so they're going all in yeah yeah that is it's, it's like a weird it's a very strange thing when you when you sort of actually see it um like like you know we, we're getting it in a, in a 10 minute episode but like yeah. the fact that you know people are living their lives like that and the fact that they kind of got this half message that this probably about right but then they just go like yep yeah, that's what i'm going to do now <laughs> and it's hilarious really because it's like the hot he's saying how it's a sin to to be dead yeah <laughs> essentially because you must, what was it? You, you need to love life or something. Yeah, they didn't love life, so everyone in the group who's <laughs> dead is sinning. They've given up on life <laughs> <laughs> and died. So all of the dead are sinners. Yeah, they're all sinners. Like, sorry, your granddad's a sinner because he's in the grave. <laughs> he didn't. And then they do this whole thing, and like, that's hilarious. And then you, you've kind of got him, and then, I mean, all we really see in this, of his family is his dad. Mm. like it's kind of fleshed out at all and his dad's absolutely ridiculous yeah and essentially just tells him it's not a sin to be dead mm. but it basically is to be naked <laughs> yeah that's that's the real <laughs> issue with yeah. using, using the necronomicon to bring back the death <laughs> the thing that you did wrong was you took their clothes off <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a moment where he keeps taking their clothes off because they're dirty. Yeah, I love and that. And then, like, it's... his dad finds him stripping a woman. Yeah. And he's just like, this is great, isn't it, dad? 
And he's like, no, sir. <laughs> yeah, it's just it, uh, it really well done for 10 minutes, like a 10-minute yeah. episode. And it it held so much punch to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, I love that as well, that he... The, the you know the kids especially they still they feel so innocent like even though they did yeah. probably like one of the worst things that you could ever do like they like th- there was innocence in that like you know it's such, it's such a minor thing like oh i don't want to get their clothes oh their clothes are dirty so let's take them off <laughs> like, like they're doing a favor and it's like oh no that's you, you just yeah you've lost the plot completely but still just trying to be nice like it's and so moral is a character you you shouldn't like him yeah in a way like everything about him if you saw that in if he wasn't the main character you'd mm. be like oh i hate him yeah he'd just be this annoying church boy that that is just to, to weeb and you know like uh in like ned flanders kids yeah yeah essentially because he's the main character and obviously it's ludicrous humor Mm. um there is something about because of his innocence and even though his beliefs are so he's so rigid in his christianity isn't he yeah yeah <laughs> but you can't help but like the guy i know yeah he's he, he's he's got something about him you're like yeah you know like he's he's doing his best <laughs> and he's trying to, he's trying to learn along the way so i think he's like yeah okay i get it now and they just go yeah <laughs> they end up just you know rectifying <laughs> those small errors that they make <laughs> And with his belief system, it, it it's like we, this whole thing makes sense. Yeah. With what he's been told, it is a sin to be dead. Mm, yeah. And that, that's why the joke is so funny. I think. It's it is, it's hilarious, really. That, that you know, the you, that that's that's sort of how it works. Is that like you assume you just go to enough sermons and stuff, and that you're just going to have all the knowledge and be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've got it now. <laughs> like I've I've learned it more. I, I read the the book back to front. I've got it now. That's it. I'm I'm ready to go. <laughs> like it's a, it's some three stage process of just like how to live life <laughs> eternal. So like, yeah, I've sorted it. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, it just it it handles. It, I think what's so good is that most of what's good about it is kind of unsaid. Yeah. Yeah. And you just have picked all this up because it is, it is, it, how can a 10 minute episode hold all this? Mm. And I suppose maybe it's a certain amount of what you already understand of all that culture and, and situation, but it does like, it, it sticks with you, doesn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's, it's, it, it's really, like I said, it, it's smart writing, isn't it, really, to, to get you to yeah. put in all that extra content, really. And I mean, I suppose part of it is because the subject matter is quite, quite charged and it's quite broad in a way, because obviously, you know, that the Christian religion has traveled all across the world or whatever. And, you know, it's very, especially in our, in our country and, it, you know, in, in the Western countries, it's it's everywhere, isn't it? Like it's sort of like in, yeah. it's, it's built into, you know, the laws and stuff like that to a degree um so it, it's kind of unavoidable everyone kind of has to deal with it in some way so it's i guess everyone's going to have an opinion of it to some degree aren't they sort of thing and everyone's yeah. going to have their own perception so it's it's cool to <laughs> to have this have this really extremely weird <laughs> version of it where it's like you've got these people who are really pious and they're, they're doing their thing and then just seeing where that can horribly go wrong <laughs> But without actually saying, like, you know what, it's you guys. Like, they're not really yeah. pointing fingers, are they? It's like no. these, these characters and stuff are doing what they're supposed to do, really, within the framework of what they've been told. And then yeah. it's like, oh, no, actually, they just got it all horribly wrong. And, and the you know, the outcome is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, because I think it does feel at times you feel like uh, whoever whoever wrote this is really annoyed at this community. And then you kind of think, actually, but then there's not really anything. There isn't, like you say, there's no finger pointing. So yeah, it's a really clever way to get into it. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the fact that they, I think, I mean, I don't know how long this sort of, uh, uh, you know, format sort of continues or whatever. But so far, like the fact that everything's a sin is kind of, you know, a great place to start with with the show, isn't it? Really, if like. Yeah. 
everything could go wrong potentially because everything yeah. is wrong and, and good at the same time. So I, I I could happily watch, you know, a few more of these where it's just like yeah. them completely getting a sermon wrong or a message and just seeing where that spirals into. Like, I, I yeah. think that alone is, is good, but the show... You just like kind of want to know like it like what what do the other episodes touch on yeah as well. yeah because, because this one it's like this is episode one and they're already onto a banger yeah yeah definitely so, I, yeah i can't believe how much it got out of control <laughs> just <laughs> just that first one yeah right okay well we've talked about it so let's move on to our final reviews mr mr johnson mr johnson you, well, yes. the, the, the world, the world is standing still. You, you are now officially the most rich human being that has ever existed. What, tell us, tell the world is waiting. Tell us, what, what will you do with your fortune? Well, I, I I'm not too sure at the moment. There's just so, so much money, bi billions and billions of dollars to change. It's a, it's a life changing so amount of money. It's a life changing amount of money. It, not just for me, but for the entire world. There's hungry people out there and will you, illnesses. Will, will, you, will, will you end world hunger? What about the water crisis? Tell us. What will you do? All things that, that need to be addressed. All things that need to be addressed, my friends. I. It's so much to think about. I mean, I just think about the people lying in sick beds, the people without homes Mr. there's Johnson. just so much mr johnson what about the environmental crisis what what will you do about climate change something something needs to be done uh, i don't know where to spend my money frankly right now there's just so much i i need to go home and think on this i i'm sorry everyone i need to go home Please, Mr. Johnson, what about down. the diseases what what about the, the rare cancer i intend to address them eventually i i just I'm going to go home, take a real long think on this, watch a few episodes of more. Wait. Huh? Everyone. I know how to change things. He's decided. He's finally decided. Tell us. Tell us, sir. I know how to fix the world. Ladies and gentlemen, two more seasons of Moral Oral. God bless you, sir. And God bless America. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? You're beautiful. Here at Toon Jam, we have a three-point rating system. That goes as follows. Uh, thumbs up. L life. <laughs> I love life. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. <laughs> gotta love it. Uh, thumbs down. Uh, the sin that is uh, dying. Uh, less, uh, less, less of that. Um, and shaky middle. Uh, nudity. Mm. So, um, and what that means is thumbs up good, thumbs down bad, shaky middle is exactly that. So, mm. Moral Oral, episode one, your thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, as I, as I went in on this one, um, like you say, I think it's, you know, the, the look of it and the style, it's so very close to, like, you know, that the type of the source material, really, that I was like, oh, I don't know whether I'm going to get on with this. Like, I don't know how, how close to the, you know, the bone that they're playing it sort of thing. Um, because you know, it, it initially a lot of the characters come across as they're just almost too they're too clean, aren't they? You know, it's very like, yeah. oh man, this could be. Uh, I was afraid it was going to be boring more than anything, but then uh, it turns out it was the complete opposite. <laughs> it was um, it it went into territory I definitely wasn't expecting within you know the the small time frame, um, and I think most importantly, it's it's you know the <laughs> the, the messages that it has, you know the the kind of the the inward look at um the the people in the in these religions and stuff um as well as the message that everything is bad um you know alongside the fact that you know life is good 
it, it really is confusing. So how how is any of us supposed to know what, how to navigate? Um, and I think they they delivered that in a in a really fun way. Um, and yeah, I definitely do want to sit down and see what other horrible mishaps they get into <laughs> from being completely innocent. Really, um, it's it's got a real different kind of dynamic. And um, so I, I guess you know I, I do want to I do want to stick around and find out what what happens next. Um, and I definitely did think that from the, from the start. So um, you know, it, I think they did a great job of uh, you know mirroring that style. Possibly, you could probably you know trick someone into watching this as a sort of Veggie Tales type thing, and then it turns horribly sour towards the end. Um, and uh, yeah, it was funny. I laughed, you know, I laughed a lot, um, and I, I really liked what they did. So for me, um, it's going to have to be um, a very holy thumbs up from me. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing bad to say about this show. It's yeah. it's really such a clever clever plot, at least in the first episode. Um amazingly packed into ten minutes, which yeah, you know, you don't you don't often see so much in so little time, I think. Yeah. Um but I think that's just because each little joke is satirical i suppose and then yeah. brings up it's like every joke is a can of worms almost isn't it mm. for for your mind um but i think you know you know anyone that's like you like it wouldn't be offensive if you were religious and i think that's what's so good about this show like because that's that's how it should be it's not it's not necessarily you know it's always people that are ridiculous yeah, yeah. you know they're the ones that create these situations they're the ones that act in that way like it's so easy to blanket you know judge an entire community mm. um which i suppose is kind of an ironic thing to say because it's making fun of a certain aspect of a community um but you know like an entire following a, a, a entire religion yeah. based on a, a smaller group of people within yeah. that religion um, and their beliefs and, and things like that so I think it, it's very clever in the way that it does that and it could it could have easily been very offensive and it and it absolutely shouldn't be offensive I suppose if you were a, a wasp or something like that that <clears throat> I suppose and if you can see yourself in these characters then you're going to be offended um, <laughs> but you know it's a kind of hold up in the mirror, I suppose, in that aspect. It's, yeah, yeah. It doesn't make fun of anything that you don't think. Yeah, that kind of that is a bit silly. Mm. Um, and and I think it's really good in that way. I I just think I it's funny as well. It's just hilarious. Yeah. Um, and what a way to start three hundred two jump three hundred. Look at this. Look at this. So yeah, Run two away. thumbs up, two thumbs fresh. Look at that. Holy, wholly recommended. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> but there you go okay so what a good start so uh thank you for that one that recommendation uh, if yeah. you've got any uh recommendations yourself uh you think oh these guys might like this or oh these guys will hate this yeah uh, feel free to send it our <laughs> way and you can find us on the three sins of the internet facebook instagram and twitter at toon jam pod um, again, all our old stuff is over on YouTube, to Jam Pod. You'll find us there, and we also have a merchandise store where you can get some crazy kooky, Toon Jam themed T-shirts and the like. And that is bit.ly forward slash Toon Jam Pod. We also have a Patreon page with bonus episodes where we mention things like Iggy Pop. Yeah, that's true. Amongst others, so check that out um it's just more bonus episodes what 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 more could you want mm. um and it helps us keep rolling so once again to all our patrons thank you so much for that um but otherwise thanks for joining us again the start of a new generation of toon jam oh yeah and until next time you stay jammy hey everyone thank you for listening if you want to help the show keep going you can be extra jammy by heading over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash toonjampod. Here you can get a shout out on the show or unlock bonus episodes. 
Ratings and reviews anywhere you listen to the podcast also really help us out. So thank you and stay jammy.